video I'm gonna demonstrate how to do the following resource schedule resource pooling which is resource set and resource capacity resource set usually when you really don't mind the name of the people working saying behind the counter in a bank or a checkout in a supermarket so you just want two of those people without really knowing their name so usually the group of people having the same job description they go on the same break so let's start uh, and I left my email address in the box below in case you have any question. So we need the start and Q. This is activity one, another Q, activity two, and end. Okay, so the resource is that easy. Um, what I'm gonna do here, like try to create a playlist of all the Simul 8 videos I'm gonna do. So the resource, like I'm not gonna focus how to do the specification of the start queuing activities. I'm just gonna focus on how to do resource schedule, resource pooling, as resource set and resource capacity. So, so this is resource one. Let's start with resource one. So. Let's suppose the person name is George and the number of type, number of this type of resource available. I'll give an example. So if the resource is like a computer lab, so there is like 30 computers or terminals, so the capacity is literally 30, while for a human being, always the capacity is equal to one. Okay, so I'm gonna put here one. And this is if there is no shift. If there is shift dependent, which we're gonna do now, is so. But before I get here, I'm gonna say if there is no shift and put it as one. So we have George as one. If you want the George name to be a little bit higher, so we do here minus 35. I'm gonna do a video like related to this, how to make things much nicer. So um, if I go to data and rule, if I click on shift, so the new one here, I have the day shift, for example, the day shift is from 8 till 4, so here is 16.00 every day or weekly pattern, so you say if you're working Monday to Friday and you're off Saturday, Sunday, so this is the day shift. If I have the night shift starting from 6 till 12 at night for example and so and we are done here it's like that easy so if you come back to George and then we say the shift dependent so how many during the day shift I will give an example so if you have a computer lab and during the day there is 20 terminals but during the night there's just like 10 because you're doing maybe maintenance on those so you could specify how many available during the day and how many available during the night if you don't want, you can just leave them as one one, okay? And so you can't change this anymore because it's a shift dependent, okay? And I'm gonna I'm gonna say one thing: if you have different breaks for different people, like if you have two resources or two operators, each one of them has a break. Like each one of them, they go for an hour lunch break. So one goes from eleven till twelve, and one goes from twelve till one. So you need to set a shift for each single person of them. Okay, so so this is George, for example, and I'm gonna do it again. So we have five and five. So if you click on Control and then and we move it here, so we have George two, which is like the second resource. So this one, if it is the person name is Layla, for example, and she's got like five and five as day shift and night shift, and this is third person is Rita. So we have three resources, George, Laila, and Rita. And if I want to do a resource pooling, so I select all of them, and then right click, create pooled resource. So literally here I select which one to keep and which one to remove, literally. Like which one to keep, which one to remove. In this case, George has highest priority because so whenever there is you say, I want one of the groups of George always as a list of sequence or you circulate or longest available. Okay. 
or timing depend on resource. For example, if resource is like busy, not busy. So I've, I've created this uh, and this is the resource for. All I have now is to change the name. So here is set of people. Okay. You can see I cannot play with a capacity or a shift dependent. So literally when people are available. So la last things I need to do is go to the activity and click on resource and here add the person name. So in case I want Layla exclusively and I want one of the sets, so I have to write it in this way. By mentioning both of them, I'm making sure that both will be called to do a job. Both of them have to be there to do a job. So if I click on Layla, this is really important, click on delay, so you need minimum, maximum. Always keep it like this because you can't have two person. Like a person is not a superman, suddenly the person is not twice, they won't have twice capacity. So always keep it as one, one all the time. So you just need like one person with a capacity of one, which is normal. But if you're dealing with a computer lab as a resource, with a capacity of 30. So here you play with it, how many do you need uh, to be available? Like I need 10 computers, okay? And another point here, uh, uh, sorry, normal require and release a resource here. What does that mean? Require here, not release a resource. I will explain all of them. Uh, require and release a resource here. In a way, you, 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 you need a resource. For example, you need the operator to service you. So you require the operator attention. You're getting the service you want, and then you release the operator. And the second one, it's like the example of a, play, of a seat on a plane. So you book a seat, which is a resource, and you go on the flight, you eat on the plane, you get to the airport, and then you release it at the end. So you release it somewhere else. Same at the supermarket when you park your car on a parking spot. So you require the parking spot, you engage it, you occupy the spot, and then you release it after you do your shopping. Okay. So I'm gonna click OK here, and for just the same of them. And so by this way, we did the resource schedule and resource pulling and resource capacity. Okay, so if I click back on here, I wanna go back to this one just to show you what I did. So what we got here, so we have George 5 during like the day shift, as a resource schedule and we can play with Layla how many do we have one or five and we can see here Rita how many we have all of them okay with an interval of 60 minutes so if you have like we're running from nine to four you could say between 10 and 11 I have zero you can do it as an interval of 15 minutes each for example if you have a break of 15 minutes so you could say between 10 and quarter past 10 there's no one so you could be could be zero but the value for the rest of the day you could put like a, a, the value you want okay so if you have a question i will uh, just use my email address in the box below thank you